Hello Commandos. Today we will be counting down 10 ways to give money to the best damn space sim ever. Before we begin. This video is still in pre-alpha. Some points here might be inaccurate. If you find errors, please contribute an issue report to the comment section. Number 10. Pre-order the game. The easiest way to throw money at Star Citizen is to pre-order the game. A game package costs you normally between $45 and $275. This will give you one out of many virtual spaceships and immediate access to the newest build of the extremely buggy and poorly performing Star Citizen pre-alpha tech demo. Number 9. Buy a virtual spaceship. Chris Roberts did not yet tell us in what decade he wants to release Star Citizen, but he already wants you to buy DLC for the game. Some of the available DLC comes in the form of spaceships. You can buy over 100 additional spaceships each one costs you somewhere between $20 and over $2000. Buying spaceships is complicated, you can buy some in a time, while others are sold in limited numbers or only during certain sales. It is also important to note, that many of these ships are only pre-orders, while some are already available in the current early access version of the game. In the current pre-alpha build you only have access to spaceships that you have bought for real money. Number 8. Become a subscriber. CIG has not released a single game since their company formation in 2011, but they are offering a subscription service regardless. A subscription will cost you between $10 and $20 per month and it gives you earlier early access to the newest version of the Star Citizen pre-alpha. You will also get access to a ship of the month, that you can fly around with for a few weeks each. And you get some other weird bonuses for a game that does not yet exist. Number 7. Pay for Citizen Con. Without having released a single game CIG nevertheless holds a yearly fan convention since 2013, called CitizenCon. Entry to 2018 CitizenCon costs between $87 and $130. They are also doing a yearly live stream of the event. This year CIG wanted to lock parts of this live stream behind a paywall. It would have cost over $20 to watch the stream. They reversed this decision one day later and refunded everyone who bought one of those digital tickets. Number 6. Get a new SSD. In 2017 Intel partnered with CIG to offer fans a limited special edition of their new SSD Series S, that included an exclusive spaceship for Star Citizen. Prices for the bundle started at $389. Number 5. Shut up and take my money. In 2013 CIG started taking money for a pre-order of a skin for Star Citizen. The skin is called Shut Up and Take My Money add-on. It will only cost you $5 and no one knows what the skin will look like or when it will be available. Number 4. Buy Star Citizen Hardware. And I don't mean just regular merchandise. In spite of having no release dates for any of their games, CIG still partnered with several other companies to manufacture hardware specifically designed for Star Citizen. At Gamescom 2015 Chris Roberts announced a series of Star Citizen themed Satek joysticks. The project got cancelled about a year later. Then at CitizenCon 2017 Facewear announced a special Star Citizen webcam, which has not yet been released. The cam will probably be available for pre-order soon. Number 3. Pay for access to in-game locations. Some of the locations that are currently in-game are behind a paywall. If you want to walk around and look at your spaceship collection in a different hangar than the standard one, that will cost you between $20 and $50 per additional hangar. Also everyone who gave more than $10,000 to Star Citizen gets immediate access to the Million Mile High Club. That is a super exclusive in-game bar, where players can hang out and look at aquariums. Number 2. Pay for a dinner with Chris Roberts. Last May CIG held a super exclusive event for customers who spent more than $1,000 on Star Citizen. The event consisted of a studio tour and a dinner and Q&A with Chris. 
CIG offered 60 tickets for $350 each. Number 1. Pre-order a plot of in-game land. Was it always your dream to build a Minecraft house on some barren moon? Well since the end of 2017 you can pre-order the ability to claim regions on virtual planetoids that have not yet been created in a game that has not been released. And at some point players also might be able to build houses there. That's the end of our list. Until next time I will see you around the verse.